I was just showing a PDF of some of the resistors I highlighted that I've checked that are bad that uh, need to be replaced. Good thing is there's not many of them in here, so it's not a big deal. Shouldn't take that long to uh, get those swapped out as well as the uh, old caps here as well. I had mentioned in my previous video about doing some uh, testing on the Candome resistor. This particular Candome, we'll look at the schematic in a moment, it resides in the uh, negative side of the uh, power supply, the center tap off the fuel coil creates the uh, bias voltages over to uh, a number of the tubes. So there's not a lot of current draw on here and I expected to find this good and I actually did. So just looking at DC resistance measurements, everything checks fine. I thought I would take my uh, power supply here. You can see in the picture in picture and uh, just throw 11 volts on here to match the schematic. Again, I'm not worried about negative voltage versus positive voltage, but uh, this is the point where I want to connect 11 volts right here. Let's do that real quick and then just check the uh, voltage off the taps and compare that to the schematic. And then uh, we'll go through an exercise how to calculate the uh, voltage drop per section and the uh, power uh, that is the wattage requirements of the uh, resistors that are needed uh, for a candome replacement. Okay, you can see here we've got our 11 volts uh, DC. And again, this would be negative once it's in the circuit, but I'm just using a uh, positive 11 volt source there. And if we move over to this side here, we should see a voltage drop. And we're at 3.94, and then an additional voltage drop here down to uh, 2.3 volts. Yeah, referring to the schematic here, you can see the uh, voltages are right in line, or very, very close to where they should be. 11 volts at this point, coming off of the uh, fuel coil back to the uh, can dome at R8 negative 3.5 at this tap location, negative uh, 2 volts at this location. Let me just go ahead and check the uh, voltage drop across the uh, 220 resistor, the 45, the 65, uh, just for my reference and then uh, we'll do the math, the exercise of uh, sizing the uh, replacement resistor. seven point one two volts drop one point six five two and you can see here the uh, last section two point three two three taking a quick look here at the bias series voltage divider that being the candome uh, that's inside the little uh, airline 62306. Let's work through the math real quick. On the uh, voltage drop per section as well as the uh, current or uh, power requirements, that being the wattage for uh, replacement resistors uh, if needed. So real quick you'll notice I have the uh, resistors called out here and I have the uh, tap points here, here, and here. So we'll start here on this column and you'll see I have the individual resistor values called out, the 220, 45, and 65. All I'm doing here is adding those together, the total, the sum, and that gives me an RT of 330 ohms. Now the schematic itself gave us our starting voltage uh, of 11 volts, and again keep in mind that was based off of 115 volt line input. But the next thing we want to do here, you can see this next column over, the third column over, I want to calculate the uh, current. Now the advantage is we're in a series circuit, so the uh, current flow through each resistor will be equal. Uh, to calculate that, we'll apply this law. Again, our current will be equal to the voltage divided by the uh, total resistance. So you can see I've applied that here, 11 volts divided by 330 gives us our current I of 0 
and you can see that repeated in these locations. Up next, uh, since we have that data and we have the uh, resistance value, we want to look at the voltage drop um, for each section here, the 220, 45, and 65. To do that, we'll apply this law. The voltage drop is nothing more than the current itself, I, times the resistance. So you can see that's what I've done here. 220 times the uh, current gives me a voltage drop of 7.3 volts across this section. 45 times the current here gives me a voltage drop of 1.5 for this section. 65 times the current here, 2.2 volt drop across this section of the uh, resistor itself. We'll come back to this in just a moment, but uh, let's look now at our uh, tap voltages. So we started with 11 volts. We said we had a 7.3 voltage drop across the resistor, so all we do here is take 11, take away the 7.3, and that gives us 3.7 volts remaining to be worked with at this point for this tap point here. 3.7, take away the 1.5, gives us 2.2 volts at this point to work with. These two numbers should match and if they do you know that you've got your uh, math right. There may be a rounding issue, you may just be a bit off, but uh, in a series circuit if you start with a known voltage, in this case 11 volts, we must end up with 11 volts here and these two numbers would match. And what I mean by that, if you add up the 2.2, 1.5, and 7.3, that would always or should equal your starting voltage here of 11 volts. Now, moving over to the uh, power requirements, that being the wattage, uh, we'll start here in this section. So, the only thing that we need to do here is apply this law. Our power will be our voltage times the uh, current. Now we could use uh, power equals uh, voltage squared or times itself divided by resistance, but we already have the current called out, so this is a simple way to uh, do it here. So you'll see that I have the uh, voltage drop of 7.3 volts. All I'm doing is multiplying that again by the known current, which is consistent again for each resistor. And that gives us the uh, power requirements of the uh, resistor um, in this column. 0 0.24, 0 0.05, 0 0.07. Now, you need an overhead factor because that's just the basic rating of the uh, resistor itself. So, I like using times 5 for terminal mounted resistors. So, you can see I've done the math in this column. That would give me a resistor wattage requirement just over uh, 1 watt, 1.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.35. Now, if I were going to uh, deal with higher wattage, higher voltages, and there would be a lot of uh, heat, uh, you know, dissipation required, I would still probably use the uh, times 5, or maybe I could even get by with a times 3 if I was doing a uh, surface mount back to the chassis to be used as a uh, heat sink. So um, I hope that's uh, helpful, folks. That's the uh, basic math on how to figure things out. And you can see the numbers that we've called out here uh, closely mirror what we had off of the uh, Candome uh, testing, which, again, those values are, you know, a little north or south of what's called out on the schematic, but still within, uh, you know, 20% of their original design. Now, the uh, tubes that hook up here will draw some current as well. So there may be some additional, uh, you know, small amounts of voltage drop beyond what's calculated um, at, at these locations as well, uh, which is to be expected, but it would be uh, minimal. So uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you found it uh, helpful. Until my next update, take care.